I was under the impression that the environmentalists and the industry could never agree on anything and would just throw mud and attack each other till the end of time. What will make the process stand out is basically two groups, people trying to make money with fish, tilapia like me, and we had on the other side of the table conservationists trying to protect the environment. We sat down and we developed a series of standards, metrics, but more so an attitude towards each other of how to work together long term. We do a lot of projects to try to protect the watershed because we know the most important contributor of nitrogen phosphorus is the runoff and the erosion uh, from the mountains all around in the watershed. According to the T80 standards, it's required that a farmer comply with both local and national laws and regulations. For that reason, among other things, it's necessary to analyze the chemistry of the water coming into the farm, inside the farm, and leaving the farm in the form of effluents. Maintaining the environmental integrity, access to water resources, both for fishing communities and as healthy potable drinking water is important. In response to the growing concern over the use of energy in all forms of food production, the TAD has introduced a standard requiring certified tilapia growers to monitor the use of energy in all its forms. The standard also recognizes that sustainability is a process and therefore this standard promotes innovation and continuous improvement in the system. The TAD has a standard prohibiting the killing of fish predators on a farm. The impact of birds can be easily minimized with non-harmful methods. Crocodiles, which are a serious problem in tropical settings, can actually be captured and transported to distant locations and released without any harm to the animals. The logo is, uh, it's not about the fish, it's about the people. Uh, we have this logo to express our philosophy, that if our people are happy, they'll do a good job, uh, they'll make a strong, firm company for their future, for our future and the future of the country. Companies will be required to um, assure that their employees are properly trained, they're provided with uh, adequate safety equipment in, in the course of their work. There is no discrimination with respect to sex, that women have just as much an opportunity to work with the company as do the men. You have the buy-in. You've developed the market penetration as you've developed the standards by having this large mass of people um, agreeing to what the key impacts are and how to eliminate or reduce those impacts. I think the, the market will have more respect for the TAD than some of these other standards because, you know, mainstream ENGOs are involved from day one, and so I think that'll, that'll hold more weight. Everybody knows what the issues are. We've, we've broadcasted what the issues are. and We've broadcasted how we're going to change it and how we're going to uh, improve the environment and the social uh, context. I think that the issue for the retailers now is, do you want to take the Band-Aid approach? And do you want to have something that looks nice but maybe doesn't solve the issues? Or do you want something where uh, you're addressing these issues based on what stakeholders have agreed upon rather than trying to address this with somewhat of window dressing and then these issues coming back to haunt you again because the process was flawed or the standards were not good enough. That's what sets apart the dialogue standards.